action, and it will be Sinners starting off on the CT side. Kit. P2K. Flash on BC. He's dropped onto his teammate, and Paul is going to use that to flash off second mid as these players swing up Boiler and into the balcony room, but they haven't seen anyone. Player coming up from underpass. Going to get spotted, but uh, so far, it's only the CTs that are taking damage. And judging by the minimap, the T's are definitely picking the right bomb site here. As long as this flash doesn't do a lot of work, it's going to be great. And <sighs> Dafu blind. Frag of his life. That should open up this bomb site. Yeah, usually that's going to work every day of the week, but he was very much set up for it. B stick, good for one, but mollied out. Falls on a quick flank. Deals with Bird from Sky, trying to get into a better spot. Must win fight. We're going to be taking it here, guys. However, Zello going to try and push in. Fawzi's still alive, and Zello's been spammed down by everybody, it seems. No assist coming in, but he was very low. Fawzi doing so much damage from behind, it's just Manx. Another pistol clutch required. Tag him down. But he can't get it done. And Fawzi on the backside with the 4K. Unbelievable stuff. Another crazy pistol. Not quite as flashy, but clinical from Fawzi. Just felt like once Daffy found that kill blind, that was a five on one on the B bomb site as they ran in. Albeit a fast flank from B, uh, from A up, uh, up mid and through banana, but ecstatic were in a great position there when they found that kill and they couldn't capitalize. But again in this series, Scriv, another force by second round with the plant, and I think they've won two out of two in this series. So. Maybe we should expect the same to happen again. That indeed would be uh, the logic. However, B-Stick got other things to say. He was robbed last round. This round he's going to hang out a couple. Neo Frag chiming in. Does get traded. Bomb should Ooh, go down. A bit of a late Molotov. Keeps the bomb from spreading in. Smoke going to dissipate. He's got to be careful on the cross. Manx just checking his surroundings before committing. We'll go for it. Bomb plant in. And now, pretty much just him on the AK. They'll set up. Classic crossfire here. Sin is taking their time with it. Waiting for the smokes to go down. They've got a kit. No rush. Molly as well. Into dark. Amazing. And now Fasher on 20 HP. He's got to push in. Ooh, they line up a bit for Manx. He's going to be tagged down. Surely has to be doable from here because they're just so damn low. Manx smoked out. This gets strange, doesn't it? He can't stop the defuse. Now it's a player without a kit. If he swings left, oh. Took the fight against the player with the rifle. You know, if he dropped the bomb, defuser, that's the round, isn't it? So all those little instinctive things that sometimes can betray you. Either way, Sinners will get it on the board. Static will probably buy again. They got a bomb plant and free frags. And indeed, it's going to come in. So... It's not panic stations yet. You've kept this CT money pretty near the brink. There's a little bit of cash on B-Stick, Fawzi, and a Neo frag, but the uh, Zed Gun Shock are going to be absolutely in the garbage can in terms of economy, should they lose this round. So the buy makes perfect sense. And another opportunity to break this CT cash early and streak ahead, and that is a much required entry. They just need to be careful not to come in because there's still two defenders and Fasher plays the, pays the price for just swinging. Mm. Bird from Sky nearly goes down to the nade. Only one on A. Zed go inside a smoke. Could be a nasty play. Could go south and... Mm, I don't know. That one's a bit up in the air for me. A quick one-for-one -one trade is maybe not what he was looking for. A bomb site very vulnerable. Bomb plant very possible. And great weapons in the post plant. Full belt of utility for Big Man Zello here. So we'll see. This could be very difficult indeed to get around. Again, kit available, but just a, a, a smoke and a flash. Really not a lot for Sinners. And their long player is just being kept at bay pretty easily. Get smoke to come through for shock. Not really planted for pit. Manx can't see now. Try and play around the smoke. They boosted a the player up quickly. This is a nice little move, but no one showing for it. Ecstatic looking to not let this one slip away. Zello finds the first onto shock. Great activation of the crossfire. And now just B-Stick from long gets ripped apart. And that will be Ecstatic finally getting there. Forced by working, breaking the bank big time for Sinners. 
difficult buy call actually because you know that on three of your players you can save and have a good shot in the next but they've decided we don't feel like a save here is good zeko and shock were never going to be buying well in the following rounds so it's going to be only 4z on an m4 they got a famas here on neo frag but apart from that it is not easy on the eyes and six grenades total to, to defend on the CT side of inferno that's going to be difficult and I think this is going to require Ecstatic to make some mistakes for Sinners to have, gonna, to have a window into this one. Nice molly towards Boiler. All very, very slow from Ecstatic. Definitely realise the position that they're in. Don't really want to fluff it up. Zelho going to look back into the flash though. That could have been awkward. Yeah, back to their slow ways. As we've said, we were more of a fan of when they came in with this approach. Heavily groups on B, and it's only B stick in defense. Sinners have said, we're on an extremely low buy here. We're going to just stack A. Fortunately for them, they are grabbing a little bit of information now as Shock pussy pushes uh, through apps. And now the exec's going to come in, and these rotates are just in time. They're going to get up onto the boost, and oh no, Scrib. They might be walking right into a meat grinder here. There's so many CTs. Quite a few of them. This is going to be deadly. The A1S as well, round the edge of the smoke. Coming in for three. Oh, Zedko. <gasps> he could have ended the round there, but shot. Deagle in from behind catches them with the perfect timing. Goodness gracious, that was... Way too close for comfort for Sinners, of course. But a perfect read, a perfect setup. Not so perfect execution, but they'll be happy to get it. It's massive as well, because they deny the plant. And the plant here would have got Ecstatic a very good buy. So they don't get the plant. And they're going to force back. And the force buy wars continue. It's only the one AK out on Fasher. And he's, of course, always the leading man of this lineup. And yes, Siri, do we want to see some magic from him in this round? Ecstatic would love for Fasha to find an entry. That would make their job here so much easier. It's not presenting itself, though, is it? They send Bird from Sky, and he's got a little bit of utility. Might sell out a fake. Four on A for Sinners. Again, gets a little bit weird. Last time they had the read, this time they sort of sent it the other way. And again, it might work out. They really do seem to have the number right now. Not going to lie. Well, they saw, I guess, Ecstatic fall apart on the B exec last time. That's surely the logic between this early stack. But now the B stick is used as utility. The risk becomes so much bigger. That's why Neo Frag is... Made his way over and look at the mid flank scrib. How has Shock pulled this off so early? He's going to catch them all from behind. Oh, uh, n no. Well, he should have. see them. <laughs> yeah, 20 seconds and they are turning around to go A. Dafu's got a bit of a cut off here. Again, wacky calls as they are very loose on it. Shock is going to get his second time around. He drops the bomb. That might even just be it, to be honest with you. Like, there's still players ready on long, and, and that indeed is going to be it. ecstatic. Just, you know, pull the brakes on the B play. Comes a point where you're so far committed, guys, you just got to go for it. Sinner's moving up to four. Static's taking their time way too much. And the logic was sound, Scriv. I guess when you see a player flanking Banana, you're convinced they do have all the info, and they're already stacked to B. But as we know, that flank was so ridiculously early that the A players hadn't even moved. So, it was the right call to run back. It just, uh, yeah. it just was pick your poison, really. It was never going to be a good situation. And now Sin has finally emerged victorious. They've forced a heavy eco round, the first we've seen in this match so far. Here on Inferno. And they keep five alive as well for good measure. The economy swing has just been enormous now in the favor of Sinners.
this is that early pacing that can be very, very scary. You know, when you get the CT side rolling like this, Sinners are in a groove, looking great. And brute forcing for that first round for Ecstatic, it has to be said. They're still on the bonus here. If they can win this against another rifle, it would be very nice for them, I'm sure. Who's going to open up, though? Bertram Sky still lurking about over on B. Zello will get the CT player, but Bertram Sky does fall. Trade's going to be a bit of a challenge. But Zello, his patience actually won't pay off. MP9 OP, guys. Forzy's here quickly. Forzy looking to delay players in. He will do so. He forces the bomb back. Manx with a key win. There's kills all over the place in this round, to be honest. It looks like the A bomb site, though, is open enough now. Looking good. Looking good. And Borzy needs to save this weapon, so... Static going to make it two. They up the ante, they up the pace a little bit, and it works perfectly. And Good entry frags as well, so... Going to be two rounds for them. Sin is still a plenty of economy in the bank, because they kept those anti-eco so clean in the previous. And yeah... Scoreline says 5-2 Scribd, but this has felt like it's been on a knife edge so far. This could easily be reversed around and ecstatic in the lead. Yeah, it, it definitely, again, you know, just feels like it's been a very strange kind of start to the map. As the whole series has, has been. Relative to Ancient, this is comparative, you know, serenity and uh, <laughs> calmness. Ancient was just an absolute bloodbath. This is a little bit more of a um, wrestling in the muck. <laughs> a bit more restraint. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. See, ecstatic will have to why would you ever need to start 4b or maybe know. they're just dropping nades yeah yeah that's that's very true they just, shock's did, did, they away with no did they throw did they throw nades uh probably shock's come away with zero i don't think he was so poor that he only he could afford uh, a glass cannon not glass cannon just armor and a famas and there's a lot of nades that rain in over there i suppose so they get a kill with it. And then obviously the A1S. Zedko finds one, but shock here. Fully baited in. Four still taking contact. I'm actually stunned that Daffy managed to find that frag onto Graveyard. And Zello should be finding a plant. That will make an investment in the next a lot easier. But of course, it might be one on three, but he'd love to come out of this round with four. I guess the problem is, Scrib, that there's players coming from all directions, and where does he choose to look? Found the short player. Good player around the bomb. Smoke dissipating. He has timing right. Gonna go for a cheeky peek. Oh, what? Are you kidding? What? There's no way. What? No, like aim boss, isn't it? Oh my god. God. No time to scale up my cast there at all. That just exploded. Holy hell. That was... What is going on? <laughs> what is going on in this series? After Vertigo was so... Let's be honest, it was boring. There were not a lot of great rounds. Ecstatic seem to streak away so early on and have so many rounds of five on threes and you know, they just closed it out. Since then, the afterburners have been turned on and what on earth is going on? <laughs> this is absolutely bonkers. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. 
reface from the AWP here on either side. Zedko gonna go pushing in. Will be flashed away. Neofrag left low from his banana face, so... Swaps over to an MP9, gets uh, demoted slightly. Four B here for ecstatic. Make that five as even Dafu's making his way over. So they'd love to pop this bomb site, and that is bad news for B stick. Left alone, he has a smoke, but he'll never get it down before these players commit in. He decides to stay gun out, and that is the correct move. The spacing isn't perfect, but Manx does find the trade and bird from sky. I don't think shock. Does she does clear it? He doesn't win out in the duel. And uh, Sinner should look to save these rifles. So that's going to be four now for Ecstatic. And Sinners, now we're looking at their economy and saying, you had a great opportunity to keep it high after the Danso Ecos, but it has bled away thick and fast here. Mm. And now they're the ones saving. Turning tides in this game, it has been kind of thrashing back and forth like crazy, but Ecstatic starting to find their stride on the T end. Yeah, definitely a bit calmer, but still some wild rounds to keep up with. Always fun. So we'll see here whether this save comes out true. I think they're going to save around it, actually. And the eco around it is maybe a better word. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. License to go a bit wild. Fawzi fragging out at the moment. 10 and 3. See if we can get a few more in this round. We'll be good. We'll be good. And of course, Sinners, we're looking at Zedko on that M4, but I guess especially Fawzi. Decided I'm gonna play with Zedko in towards apps at the start. They're actually gonna fall out of it and not work too hard for a pick. Which is a little surprising given the uh, the buy here right now from Sinners. You'd you kind of hope that Forzy stuck around really, wouldn't you? And force the issue. Maybe decides to play a more passive game and play a shifting in B stick. Absolutely caught off guard and with just an MP9, Neofrag is never in a million years holding on to this bomb site. There it goes. And now just the AWP and the M4 to move into the next round. So Ecstatic, they have uh, found their liking over on B. Now it's a uh, weaker defense in this round, but... All the same. <laughs> uh, excuse you, Daffy. Um That's a bit unreasonable. <laughs> that is a tilt as well. If you die to yeah, that, you are, you are shouting, you know, what on earth just happened? Yeah, maybe a few more expletives in there. Yeah, I'll try I keep it family friendly, but you're right. That's fair. Borsi now has to battle for his life. Oh, misses the nose scope. <laughs> Dafu's flashed himself. But they will kill him eventually and deny the AWP away, which is the big one, right? And they've got plenty of money to, to send three players in there. But uh, again, <laughs> making a meal of it. Yeah, it wasn't actually worth it, was it? Because they can buy again. So, maybe a tiny bit of a misread. They might have actually thought they were forcing. But um, that wasn't actually worth hunting now that I think about it. So, yeah. Force comes out, though. Five apiece for the teams. And considering Sin has won the force by war, Exadig have had to fight two for nail to actually get to this even scenario, and they've got some money in the bank. So it's advantage Ecstatic right now moving forwards. And I guess we're looking at Sin as Scriven saying, how do you change up your defense? Do you go for banana? Do you give the control and sit on your nades? Because it feels like they're doing a lot of gambling late round, aren't they, with either numbers B, not enough A, or, or vice versa, you know, solo B and numbers A. So I'm... Uh, Excited to see how they choose to change it up. Bird from Sky looking to entry his way in towards B here. Molly on the corner, double nade to follow into Sandbag. Bike showing 
just yet. They are trying to bait out some early utility. Still got a fair amount themselves, but you can see only a couple smokes left on that Sinner's side. Actually drawn a rotation across to B as well. They have taken the info. Top banana control. But actually, this rotates really late on Neofrag. And thankfully for them, Shock finds a kill, but he is super low. Still players trying to creep up, but there's no entry flashes, and they're not clearing Zed kills. Basher finds the trade, so it is still doable, and actually Neofrag has fallen off the site. Real free is going to be, and the bomb is going to get planted. It's going to require a retake. Bomb goes down, planted for pit, of course. Slow move in here from Sinners. B-Stick going to take the apartment's route. Two from Long. They will be heavily smoked off. And uh, maybe a call to save coming in by the looks of things. Yeah. The A-bomb sites, it's a challenge. It's a real challenge to retake, especially if they still have a fair bit of utility left. So, uh, yeah, makes sense. Ecstatic going to take the lead. I think the lack of a kid actually was the decider. Maybe there's one. I didn't. I don't think there was one on either of these players on site. But... Um... With a kit, I think they'd probably still try it. Probably still give it a go. There was a smoke on Neofrag, so... If you guess correctly, I do so you can isolate it. But um, they've chosen to play the safer approach. Saving these guns over. They can drop and reinvest. You can't be saving too many times. You'll be, you'll be giving away rounds, so... I don't hate the save. But it's not something we like to see all too often. Hmm... Not easy. Forzy looking to take matters into his own hands here. Get a bit aggressive, but he just misses timings on both angles, really. Certainly unlucky from our perspective. Either way, early nades on B once again. Rotation round towards A pretty quickly coming in. We do have a player up on the boost shock as well. Just on the back side. Flash comes in, and it's perfect. Max with two. Forzy. For one, needed more. Can't get it. Save again. It's starting to fall really flat, isn't it? And remember, the Sinners have won, for my money, one regular gun round, I think. Because they got the like, one pistol, and they won the Force by War. So they've only won a single round, I think, which is rifle on rifle. And that's a little bit concerning. And to come away early on with economic control and not translate it into a lot of rounds would be devastating. Here, Frag. He's getting some nice kills. But I think the only thing that matters is getting that gun out of his hands. And indeed they do. And now, looking at the money. We've a save there, Squib. That's a slam dunk buy. But I'm not sure what you do now. Yeah. Yeah, that's very, very true, actually. Um... Kind of going to go halves. So if you've got money, spend it as Neofrag does, but make sure you can buy in the next. That's the general gist of the call. So it might be able to get oh, no. something done here. Accidental uh, depress. Daisy. Double nade and a molly this time. They're changing it up. Sometimes it's molly on the corner. Double nade sandbags. Sometimes it's double nade on the corner. Molly sandbags, you know? So they're being a bit inventive. It's good though, isn't it? Because it's um, it's just simple CS, you know. If you keep mollying the corner, what's the CT's going to think, Squib? They're going to say, oh, there's nothing on sandbags. I can play here and get a flash. Especially against low buys, you switch it up. Nades on the corner, molly on the sandbags. If they were, if he was trying to exploit that gap, if it was in, the, in, the, in play, he'd be dead. So, good to change it up. And of course, it keeps the CT's guessing and... Even down the line in this half, they'll be really scared now to play sandbags because of that. Or the corner, for that matter. With the Classic mid-stack here. Going to try and get something going again, boosting a player up. Flash is coming round. No real commit from Ecstatic. Just trying to see what the heck is up. Here we go, though. Bloodbath incoming. Or oh, just as one player moves away. And now two. So it is just going to be Forzy by himself. Slightly less threatening this time around. Zedko grabs one round the corner, but traded. 
over on Beavers and MP9, but it is no match for Fasha. Eight rounds for Ecstatic. Looking good, looking good. They've really come alive here, and I think, I think Scrib has seven in a row. I'm pretty sure it is. So they're really starting to streak away with this one. And indeed it is. It was five to one a few moments ago for Sinners. And oh boy, if they let that slip away. Really struggling here to get any traction on these gun rounds. And what's the minimum? I guess five is doable. But considering how this half started, if they don't make seven, it will be devastating. It will be devastating for them. Mm-hmm. Well, Ecstatic have been in the groove for quite a while and really, really looking good while being there. You know, it, it's the whole eye test argument that we talk about quite a bit. They've been fairly dominant in these wins as well. So there's a lot in a row, looking really good, building up a great deal of speed for half two. Going to move away from B so they don't eat a million nades at a time. And it maybe was the move. However, they might be back. There's a similar story though on Ancient. As I kept pointing out, they were putting themselves in excellent positions time and time again. Either with advantages or on the T-side taking a lot of space and being great kind of um, great kind of spots to exploit that seat side. They just made a few too many errors. That's kind of why I ultimately predicted Ecstatic to win it, because their macro looks stronger. And certainly in this first half, they are playing a much better macro game than Sinners. And you can, it's bearing out on the server so much. How many times have Sinners been on the wrong bomb site when the exec comes in? Far too mm -hmm. many. And they're getting mm -hmm. caught off guard so much. Ooh, something new. One nade and then a Molotov. Crazy. Always changing it up. Flash going to come in though. Beautiful timing. Oh, <laughs> and gets the double. That's unfortunate. Bird from Sky, I don't think it's uh, blind to it. Meanwhile, the A play, they're going to give it a go. Doesn't really work. Yep, Dafu walks out to try and catch it, but he's covered. All on Zello. Sinners seem to have broken it with a nice timing flash there in Banana. So, you know, in American sports in particular, they have um, coaches very specifically for each position. So, I know in American football, they have coaches assigned maybe even to an individual spot or an individual area or, you know, defense, offense, or, you know, quarterback. Mm. Maybe you should be the top banana control coach <laughs> for ecstatic. <laughs> and all you do is write down every single conceivable combination of nades you can throw onto the sandbags of the corner. Yeah. And you just tell them, in this game, we're going to run these 17 options. <laughs> and it's going to work brilliantly. Maybe, maybe you've found uh, a gap that is yet to be filled. I feel like there might have been an unsung hero at Astralis that maybe had that back in the day. It'd be the greatest Twitter to kind of bio tag. Banana yeah, yeah. control coach. I mean, listen to that. <laughs> that is so good. And you can make endless jokes. I mean, the potential well, is amazing. Indeed. We'll put it in the back pocket, maybe, uh... You should actually put that on your profile, that'd be hilarious. Maybe idea it. Yeah, I might do, I might do. Just... Squiv. Host, commentator, and banana control coach. <laughs> Brilliant. Because they are, they are changing it up. I mean, I don't know quite what the deal is. They don't seem to be on the same page. You see, this is where it's a bit wrong. This round, they had Molly on the corner. Then a nade at sandbags, and then about 10 seconds later, another nade at sandbags. I'm not sure he's still going to be there, guys. You they haven't been listening to your notes, clearly. Mm -hmm. That was not in the script. You have to strike when the time is right, you know, and, and unfortunately, uh, they didn't really. They're very, very broken apart with their strikes. Either way, they're all here for the B hits. CT smoke, coffin smoke. Box Molly, first Shy goes flying in, first orange for these tickets. It's a tough one to deal with unless Neo Frag is there to help you out. He can't get away from Zello though. Surely they've done enough. A one versus five for Zello required. Bomb goes down. CT smoke dissipates. He's got to make a move, right? And he knows it. 
Baiting out a bit of sound in towards uh, the church area, but then that drop down going to make noise. Going in for the peak, but an off angle from Shock. And that, indeed, will be all she wrote for the first half. 8-7, Sinners run it back for a couple towards the tail end there. They do, indeed, bring it as close as damn it. But the rifle rounds were difficult for them. We'll see if they can turn things around in half number two. Welcome back, folks. Half number two getting underway as close as damn it, which is absolutely what we want. Third map of a series like this. So we'll see. Sinners on the T side. What have they got in store? Bit of nadeage. P250 raid boss for Forzy and a B attack coming in with three round the corner and a two man stack that doesn't really go so well. They were definitely reading into it, but Fasher is there for the returns. Didn't want to overface, and well, he comes to you for a double. Shock's found a gap, though. Look at this. Out of apartments. Screaming at his teammates, saying, come up, come and get this bomb through apps immediately. And actually, the players have started to rotate in. It's going to be really hard now to get the bomb over. That's a seriously important frag. 
on towards Manx. The bomb is going to get planted. There's a lot of directions to worry about here, and this is going to be such a hard after plant to pull off. Shock finds one, but they're so penned in here on short. Peeking out together, though, they get around the corner, and there's no kit here on Bird from the Sky, so even without a face, so that was going to be almost impossible. And Sinners, take the pistol. Looking good. Yeah, obviously they picked up some speed towards the tail end of that first half, so looking to continue that. And, um, yeah, a, a recovery you can argue. Ecstatic. In with the force buy again. It seems they have turned over a new leaf, giving it a go. Force buy essential at the moment. Bird from Sky going full nades and a USP, so that's an Listen, this one. is the greatest support player. To not buy yourself a pistol... When he could have just bought a P250 or something. That is that is commitment. Indeed. Well, he was maybe sent to uh, set up his homeboy. It doesn't really work. He does get a kill with that nade, though. Now he's got a USP. Low HP. Oh, couldn't get the spamming. Couldn't get the spamming. Bomb going to go down. There's a lot of low HP players, actually, uh, across the board, it has to be said. So keep an eye on it. But the Deagles, all from CT, trying to spam away. I don't think it's really going to happen for them. Yeah. They know it, so they're going to move to safe. Yeah, if there was needed any more confirmation, as soon as that CT gets re-smoked again just now. That's all she wrote. Going to save the guns. Or I guess Bird from Sky is just saving some nades, really. <laughs> After a very bizarre force buy from him. So, sin is they take a lot of damage. And actually, if Ecstatic knew how low the HP was... In that sort of parallel universe, maybe a flash ring gone for it. Go not soon. He's finding some frags on the way out the door. He actually... Did Zello just get another as well? Only Shock survived? They need to pause, actually, because they could buy right now. This is on, this is on the cards. And they're going to do it. Okay. It's all... A bit all over. Why didn't they just pause and sort out the buy? I'm actually perplexed. That is, yeah, weird. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm They're just playing a little, you know, shooting from the hip, and a little too much. A bit too much confidence. A bit too braggadocious. I feel we've got four in apps though, <laughs> for sinners, yeah. and then a smoke. Damn it. Gonna cancel instead. Problem is, there's so many people here on A. Zello under the balcony gets spotted and Manx goes down immediately. There's four here and they haven't found a frag. Oh no, that was disastrous for Ecstatic. And now Sin is in a very crucial round where they could have got heavily reset. Of looking set to keep this completely clean. Maybe even five alive. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not expecting them to send it. I don't know. I don't know. Just all coming in from the same kind of spot. It, it looked very dangerous, didn't it? But ecstatic. A bit of sleep. Was there a long smoke up? I don't think there was. No, I think they really did play there. Well, I think Zello surely thought someone else was taking his contact on mid first. Mm. You could just see how in that position, your arm is always going to jut out a little bit. So you need someone else to take your contact. And he wasn't jiggling. He was just hidden. So I think the main takeaway is there must have been a big lapse in communication there. And it's starting with four players on the site needed to be doing better. Maybe indeed, Alan. Maybe indeed. I think they will. Uh, fatigue definitely has to be getting to them after a couple series of the day, you know what I mean? And just staying in the zone the whole way through after an overtime three mapper. So, obviously we're casting. It's not quite the same, but it even does start to take a toll for us. B-stick left very low. Flash around the corner. Can't find the kill, so they'll drop back. The initial exchange doesn't result in any frags, but... Obviously, a lot of players coming off worse for wear. I 
Okay then. Sinners. Super slow. Super slow. Just grouping up here in banana. Now think about clearing the top. Hold it on the sandbags. Nice to see. I suspect B stick is gonna fake a bit of A pressure. And it it is. Modo smoke going down. Flash as well. Maybe that will hold them for a little bit of time is free, but it shouldn't last for long. The boost, the boost is good. The boost is good. And Vasha finds one and you can immediately hop off onto first. Smoke as well. That is an amazing setup. Fully blocked now. Tail between their legs and they're going back towards A. Managed to creep up long. Player over on balcony will be the first one to spot, but <laughs> he wants to get the hell out of dodge, and they have just about figured the player on the site. So, great little B setup, but there's a hole. There is a massive hole left, and they will find it. They will indeed work with it. So, not sure you are going to buy in the next. You might as well go for it on the ecstatic side, but do you want to just save a little bit, bolster your economy, get an AWP out? Yeah, I'm a little surprised they're not playing more aggressively here for exits. I don't really see why not. I doubt anybody's, you know, thrashing at the, at the teeth to have a Galil or an MP9 in the next round. I guess Bird from Sky is a little bit worse for wear on the money, but... Yeah, a couple frags would have been nice. To, so. to just save. And that allows Sinners to keep four players alive. And look at this team money. It's really starting to bank up. So, Static starting to feel like they're in trouble, isn't it? And how many more chances are they going to get to get any traction on the CT side? Pause coming through. Hoping to get some of that traction going. Sinners, uh, similar to the first half, getting uh, a decent amount of work in. Ecstatic, though, once they figured it out, they were really giving them the runaround. Now it is going to be challenge here, I would assume, to, to figure things out on the CTN, especially when you've got, you know, the economy working against you as it always is. We'll see. Zello with a great mid-spawn. How wide does he go? Not all the way down, so... Fair enough. Meanwhile, grouping up outside of B, just playing things slow. A little reminder as well of a storyline we brought up before map three. The Orpers. Forzy had a really great CT side, best performer on the server right now, and it feels like his rifles are pretty good as well, so he's having a lot of impact. Whereas Zello, he is positive, but look at that ADR score. So we still need to see a little bit more. And certainly on the CT side of a map like Inferno. The potential for him to have impact here is enormous. And we need to be seeing it, but it's actually Fasher. It's doing work in this round so far. Four and three in banana control. Great position now for Ecstatic. Some of these before, though. Great flash around the corner. Manx kind of instinctively moves from the molly. Maybe could have hidden behind it. Either way, Long again looks a little vulnerable, but this time there are eyeballs on it in the form of Dafu. Can't get the frag, though. Shock claps him. And this leaves things very, very perplexing now. We have Fasha left on the B-bomb site. It looks like they're going to try and fake out the fact that they're going towards CT. I mean, I get the idea, but the A players can't really move, you know? It's, it's very, very difficult. The bomb is also isolated. Zello ready for Shock finds him. Not ready for this player behind. Will get traded. There's still a player in pit, though. And with 15 seconds left, how do you deal with this? Forzy has to kill him. Surely. Flash in. Try and make a break to the fight. And they will just get in there. Forzy does take out Manx. And now it's just Fasha from B. Oh, a surefire round has fallen apart. Can Fasha save it? Can Fasha save it? Two in on the site. Very ready for him. Flash comes round, but... Not a chance. That'll be number 12 for Sinners snatched away. Looking brilliant for them. The money, though, is still good from Ecstatic. As a consequence, their loss bonus being so built up. So 
They should really be buying into this one. Manx could even drop an AWP onto Zello if they so desire. And as the nades come in for Bird from Sky, they should be uh, fully investing behind him. Sinners, though. This T side has been sensational, hasn't it? Very few mistakes. Clean CS. They're looking, uh, they're looking absolutely in their element right now. And contrast this T side so far with what we saw in Vertigo, and they have improved leaps and bounds over this series. Big time. Big time. And we're a fan of those kinds of moves. They really have picked it up and uh, lit a fire underneath them, for sure. I don't worry, Stu, whether this one goes their way or not. It is a, a great look for Sinners to be able to improve so much across the course of a series. Zello with the mime gun once again. I even it looked like he walked through it, like where the orb would have been. Anyway, Fasha, bird from sky, banana control, making it look easy. Zello should have this one in the bag. Shocks can't get there fast enough. And there you are, five on two very quickly. Was he? Peeking for apartments. Nobody to find for the moment. As Manx there decides, I'm not going to stick around. I'm not going to allow one on one. I'm going to fall back to the site and play it with my teammates. Good solid CS. And given the way a static of posturing at the moment, there should be no opportunities. Yellow is very wide. But he hits the shots, so it's of no consequence. And B-Stick, even try this? Do you just save? Pick your poison, and I think he's decided to save. Gonna be nine for Ecstatic, and the best news of all, Squiv. Five players alive, and if they keep it this way, that will help a lot, should they lose rounds down the line. Yes, sir. Uh... And it looks like they probably will. There's a little search party going. Bird from Sky and Fasher. Don't think they're going to find him, though. So. Keeping it interesting. Not quite going quietly on the ecstatic side of things. Sinner's certainly going to have to work here, but still in a really good spot. Still able to buy comfortably. They get a bomb plant here as well. You'd assume into the next they should do the same. So... Static still have a lot of work to do. It just kind of depends on how it comes here. A lot of uh, aggression in towards Banana, as per usual. Zello with a spin around, going to sit behind the molly. It didn't actually reach him, really. It's a bit unfortunate. Maybe it would have. The smoke is, you know, an instinctive thing, but he could have stuck there and, and caught someone. You never know. Stacks up in mid. Needless to say, I think Sinners would like some mid-control. And they're actually going to explode in really fast. Look at that. Dafu had no idea what just hit him. And they're faking the long wrap while going numbers into a short Dello. He's playing Graveyard on an AWP. Not an orthodox position. And he's not alive for long. And look at these entry frags coming in. That was perfection from Sinners. Magic, absolute magic. Bird from Sky, the only one here. I'm going to stick around. He'll find one, but... That's probably all he's going to get. Ooh, big fake. He's a genius. He really is. Fawzi. Catches him. Yep. 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 No. Uh, I know. He could have got it. He's going to pause, isn't he, to have a little look around when he gets to the balcony. For goodness sake. Someone, someone has definitely been like, no, 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 you know, like one of the dead players the or coach. whatever. Is. That's what I do. Yeah. Scream at them, just take the frag. <laughs> Either way, it would have been a nice little bow on top of a great game that he's having at the moment. You know, you you spoke about Forzy being one of the more impressive elements and fitting into uh, Oscar's spot quite well, and yeah, he definitely is been amazing in this match. 
Had a few good maps behind us as well, and of course, he's normally near frag we look at. The man is just fallen to hold the mantle, carry the torch, and lead the men in. But this series so far, Forzy has been proving his metal and potentially showing that in the days of old, when Oscar was the obvious choice, he might have been overlooked, as he has looked brilliant in this game. And in this round alone, it's only now that Sin is starting to take some control. And they need to at some point clear Banana because this A stack is formidable. Bit of a scrap down, bird from Sky. Not afraid of the fight. To know that that Molotov's really landed if you see it on the minimap there, Alan. <laughs> This is the best of us. crazy. They're going into the four players without doing anything B. I respect the ambition, but these crossfires should never fail in a million years. This is going to be almost a Oh. You said it now. Double in for Dafu and Fasha, and it's Fasha on the site, in fact, that goes overlooked, right? That's what it was all set up for. That's why you have your best player in the best spot, and Ecstatic indeed will not. Mess it up. Looked a bit dangerous at the start, the instant frag, but they recover it back. But it almost works, doesn't it? In the sense that once you've killed the first two, you never expect the third in uh, such such a close on position. So it was a nice setup. And uh, as I was building it up, yeah, you were never cracking that. And maybe Sinners needed to work harder to force them to be 2B, to not allow a setup like that on A to exist in the first place. Irrespective, around 24 we find ourselves in, and actually Sinner's money has dwindled fast with some of those close rounds. And Ecstatic now have a great opportunity to pull off a heavy reset, force an eco, and really get themselves back into this game. This is a pivotal round for both teams, perhaps even the most important of the series thus far. Indeed. Flash off, dead. Manx, dead. That's got to be the A bomb site, and probably the round. Dafu's going to move away to save. Sinners move up to 14. I tell you what, one win, we're good at finding entries. These Sinners guys might be even better. Granted, ecstatic, caught out in the open, not in the best positions, but the speed at which. These guys can find the opening picks is just brilliant. And Ecstatic have no answer. They have to save. As you mentioned, it's going to be 14 combined with a really tough buy decision here from Ecstatic. I think they have to invest. But one of them is not going to be on great, great weaponry in the next. Yeah, a lot of pressure on it. I think Sinners are in prime position to uh, clean us up here. To be honest. Got to be real about it, you know, that's, that's, I, I don't really brand myself as that, but, you know, I, I, I like to keep it real, my dude. Um, and that's certainly how I'm feeling in this one. I think we've got a few of the pieces for Ecstatic as well. Dafu not quite having the game that he was having. Zello kills, but it feels like the, the AWP has not given him as much in this second half, to be honest. Hall's coming through. Ecstatic. Need to find this and then the next, to be honest, to break that bank. So it's a real challenge and they have struggled. They've struggled in this second half. It's 14-10. It's not too far away, you know. But they really have not been picking up the, the best of rounds and the most consistent of rounds. It's been all about sinners. Yes, sir. -y. And of course, third map of the series, 10 to 14 down. There's no second chances now. You can lose one round, and then it's over. Ecstatic, you've had a real rough CT campaign. You've really struggled to find entries, and they need to change something about these early rounds to reverse that trend. And they're putting so many nades on Banana, but Neofrag, you might get traded out, Scriv. But look at all this space they're gaining, and Sinners are on an absolute tear. Dafu finds a key one, though. Manx still uh, in towards the pit, and Dafu is now given the space over at long. And also, Manx is going to spot. He's going to get the information that there's no one that 
committed down short just yet. Great smoke. Into apps. Gonna buy a lot of time and flashes all the way down mid. So they're contained to a certain degree. Oh, the flash. <sighs> Almost cost him. Almost cost him. Dafu. Go in. Oh my goodness, nearly catches him nade in hand as well. Manx is there for the trade at the very least, but it doesn't gain them a lot, right? They they get the kill. Late one for one's not too bad. I think they wanted the info though. Still don't know where the bomb's gone and the timing there on the 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 peak across now. I feel like Forsy might actually have picked up Manx if he'd stuck to the angle, but still, bomb goes down. They don't know where anyone is playing from. Forsy close angle with York, spots the shadow. Lovely, thank you very much. Fasher going to give it his best shot as well. Can't get it done. 15 for Sinners secured. And the money just ain't there for Ecstatic. Falls as well. Absolute man of the hour. 26 to 9. Third map of the series when... Listen, Sinners look a long way in the lead now. But in that first half, they had to fight so hard to keep it competitive. And Forzy was a big part of that. And he's been a big part of some of these T-round wins. Be on the rifles of the AWP, he has found immense impact and there's no question that he's the best player on the server right now and just one more moment of magic and that'll be the series here for sinners this guy oh, a lot of damage off the back of the molly was trying to go for a bit of pre-fire maybe there's someone round the corner but nope not the case Slow, very slow indeed. Shock's going to get the catch on towards Dafu, though. They've gone for this mid-stack. Try and give it a go again. Falling apart, though. They, uh, they've lost all cover with that first frag. And now, just bird from Sky to save them. Not going to happen for him. Can't even find one. 